It's time to talk about the truth. In this video I will be very stern, yet realistic. Some may agree with me at the end, while others may think I've gone too far. The fact is, this is the reality in Italy and we need to accept it instead of blindly defending the bel paese. For those hoping to find paradise in Italy, I'm sorry my friend, but you won't. At least not to some extent. Sure, if we are talking about the good food, the sea, music and those things, then yes, but let's try to be a bit more objective and focus on the needs of an average person. In this video, you will hear me mention the word the slowness quite often. Personally, this factor is something I still can't get used to and for me, it's a big problem. From renovating a house to a simple appointment at the bank, you always have to hope to be lucky and find the right person. Now let me give you some examples of what happens here. Let's start with those who want to renovate their house. And this is where you risk embarking on an endless journey. Currently it's extremely difficult to find construction companies that will start renovating your house before a year. I know people who have uh, been waiting for the work to begin for three years. But why all this slowdown? In recent years the Italian government made a crazy move where they give you back 110% of the money if you renovated your house and improved the energy efficiency. Naturally everyone with a house uh, started looking for companies to start this process. It was indeed uh, very convenient. All construction companies started working a lot and even those who were bakers the day before opened a construction company. The fact is that many people in Italy didn't have the ready money to anticipate the renovation of their homes and construction companies started to anticipate the money that themselves, in exchange for the assignment of the tax credit that the state would then repay to them. In the end, like everything else in Italy, it turned out to be a maneuver made it totally without any financial sense, causing yet another deficit in the state coffers, which began not to repay the money to construction companies or slow down the process, leading to the bankruptcy of many companies that didn't have solid liquidity. So now there are fewer construction companies and those that exist are very busy and book it for years. Then there is the slowness of bureaucracy to contend with. Let's pretend you have booked your house and at the time of renovation you have uh, had the brilliant idea of building a garage for your car. Naturally you will need to request permission from the relevant authorities and up to this point everything is fine. The real problem arises from the sluggishness of the system in processing this kind of permits. For example, I rent houses for foreigners and to do so I need permits for this type of activity. When I applied for them I had to wait for weeks just to have a response and months to start uh, operating. So in the meantime, being unregulated, I couldn't operate. I'm not talking about specific permits with detailed documentation checks, but simply obtaining an identifying code. So imagine now how long it might take to get approval to build a garage. Another example of slowness uh, that I'm experiencing right now with some works we are doing is with individual professionals. It's April now and since September of last year I've been trying to install air conditioning in a house. Out of 20 plumbers I contacted only 3 showed up to give an estimate and out of the 3 only one gave me a quote. The other two have been telling me for 3 months that uh, they will send me the estimate shortly. Yeah, for sure. In the meantime I've organized the work with the only plumber who gave me a quote. Also because I have no alternatives and for Two months the work has been postponed week after week. I hope uh, to have the air conditioning uh, installed uh, for this summer. Next time I will start a year in advance, or two probably. Espresso coffee with this view. What else? I interrupt you a few seconds from the video you are watching, not to talk to you about coffee, but about the country where you can drink a good one. Italy. So if you want to discover the advantages of living the Dolce Vita in the Bel Paese, understand the process of buying a house in Italy, you should consider buying this with reward. Available on Amazon in the link in the description. Many people decided that 2024 will be the year of their change. 
Will you be one of them? Earlier I mentioned the budget deficits and the crazy financial maneuvers that the Italian government makes. Well, I want to remind you that Italy is rapidly approaching 3 trillion euros in public debt and government after government the situation remains unchanged. No one takes responsibility and the blame is always placed on the previous government. Meanwhile, the ship is taking on more and more water. Indeed, services to citizens are increasingly deteriorating, from public schools to hospitals. For example, last summer I was in a hospital close to me and there were patients left on stretchers in the corridors. Their conditioning wasn't working, the power kept cutting out, the electric plugs were all damaged, the computers weren't uh, functioning and the doctors were complaining that they didn't even have gloves and gowns. It's not a pleasant situation if you need a urgent medical attention. Not to mention the condition of the roads. If you come to live here, I recommend getting around with an off-road vehicle. Some potholes are enormous and the infrastructure is collapsing because uh, Maintenance is not being carried out. Public transportation services are unreadable, from buses constantly catching fire in the center of Rome to trains arriving late and sometimes not arriving at all. Due to thousands of strike protests carried out by workers who are overworked and underpaid. Cities have become uninhabitable due to crime. This is somewhat the case throughout Europe. In Milan, for example, it's very dangerous to go around even during the day and it's highly discouraged to use the subway. However, this urban crime is increasingly spreading to smaller cities and the cause of all this is the absence of the state and the preventive measures. It's more important to buy wheeled school desks uh, as happened uh, a few years ago Booked, not used it and thrown away. <sighs> this video is getting very heavy and long. This uh, red background is perfect for this video. Now I will tell you one last very serious problem you will find in Italy. High energy costs. From gasoline to gas, from methane to electricity, energy is too expensive. If gasoline costs 50 cents per liter in the United States, here in Italy today we are around 1.90 euros. Consequentially, bills are high and an average family of three people spends 140-160 euros per month on gas and the same amount on electricity. The problem is not so much in consumption, but in the taxes imposed. With this video, I hope I have dispelled any doubts you may have had or made you reflect on whether moving to Italy might be the right path for you. In this channel, I always talk about how convenient this country is, and in some cases it is, but I prefer to be very honest since uh, this is what you will find in most cases. Let me know what you think in the comment below. If you live in Italy or have lived here, share your experience and above all, tell me if you agree with uh, what I have said or if uh, you consider Italy a perfect country. See you sooner!